all right you're welcome again today we are still talking about ordinary differential equation okay let's take a look at this question we are asked to form a differential equation corresponding to this function y is equal to a plus bx in bracket exponential minus 2x you get it we are asked to form a differential equation corresponding to this function y is equal to a plus bx in bracket exponential minus 2x okay now please pay attention to this the more we go the more we have different forms okay and nobody can tell you a specific rule on how to form a differential equation it doesn't have a specific rule but what we are interested in is in eliminating arbitrary constant but the way you do it all depends on you and the question given to you okay so please stay with us we are going to be saying different forms and different strategies to use when for me a differential equation let's take a look at this one and see how we can solve this now let's go we have y is equal to a plus bx in bracket exponential minus 2x let's call this equation one we are going to differentiate this with respect to x and for us to do so we are going to use product rule okay so when we differentiate y it's going to give us dy dx and we will use product rule to differentiate the right hand side then we differentiate a plus bx in bracket exponential minus 2x is going to give us b exponential minus 2x plus open bracket minus 2 exponential minus 2x open bracket a plus bx hello now when you are talking about uh differential equation the formation deals with derivatives why the solving deals with integration please i want you to study more on differentiation study more on integration so that ordinary differential equation will not give us a hard time okay now i know by now you know how to apply product rule okay so please i want you to do it by yourself to see if you get the same thing here you know when we talk about a product rule you differentiate the first maybe you have u v you differentiate v multiply by u plus differentiate u multiply by v okay all right now let's go we have a plus bx you can call this your u so when you differentiate this a plus bx is going to give you b then multiply by exponential minus 2x then you say plus now let's differentiate exponential minus 2x when you differentiate it's going to give you minus 2 exponential minus 2x then multiply by a plus bx in bracket is that true yes now let's go as we have it this way let's arrange this we're going to have dy dx is equal to b exponential minus 2x now here we have plus open bracket minus 2 exponential minus 2x we are not going to open this bracket that is we are not going to use this minus 2 exponential minus 2x to multiply a plus bx in bracket okay but look at the way we are going to arrange it we are going to place minus 2 in front of the bracket and then take exponential minus 2x to the back of the bracket so we're going to look like this we're going to have b exponential minus 2x minus 2 open bracket a plus bx in bracket exponential minus 2 hello take a look at this very well 
discover that it is the same. We we'll only arrange this properly. Okay? Now, we can call this equation 2. Alright? Good. Now, this arrangement, why did we arrange it like this? We arrange it to look like the first equation, which is equation 1. You can see that in the brackets, we have a plus bx in bracket exponential minus 2x is the same that we have in equation 1. That we say y is equal to a plus bx in bracket exponential minus 2x. That is the reason why we group it this way or we arranged it this way. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute equation 1 in equation 2. That is the value that we have as a plus bx exponential minus 2x. We're going to replace it with its equivalent value in equation 1. Okay, so its equivalent value is y. So we're going to replace it in this equation 2. So when we do so, we're going to have dy dx is equal to b exponential minus 2x minus 2 in place of a plus bx in bracket exponential minus 2x we replace it with y so we have minus 2y so let's call this equation 3 all right good so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this again for the second time okay you know we have arbitrary constant a and b so we'll differentiate this twice so differentiating the second time we're going to have the squared y all over df squared is equal to when we differentiate b exponential minus 2x you're going to give us minus 2b exponential minus 2x and when we differentiate minus 2y you're going to give us minus 2 dy dx okay so let's call this equation 4. so as we have this as our equation 4 let's go back to equation 3 let's see what we have there you know in equation 3 we have dy dx is equal to b exponential minus 2x minus 2y okay good now let's take minus 2y to the left hand side if we take minus 2y to the left hand side we're going to have dy dx plus 2y is equal to b exponential minus 2x is that true yes we're going to have dy dx plus 2y is equal to b exponential minus 2x let's call this equation 5 okay let's call this equation 5 and please still hold it now can we go back to equation 4 now in equation 4 we have g squared y all over dx squared is equal to minus 2 b exponential minus 2x minus 2 dy dx okay let's take minus 2 dy dx to the left hand side you get what i'm saying let's take minus 2 dy dx to the left hand side if we take minus 2 dy dx to the left hand side we are going to have d squared y all over ds squared plus 2 dy dx is equal to minus 2 b exponential minus 2x you see that what we have in our right hand side is almost the same with what we have in the right hand side of equation 5. Now, if you look at equation 5 and equation 6, you can see what they have in common. B exponential minus 2x. So here, we are going to replace B exponential minus 2x with another value that we have in equation 5 you get it right so that means we're going to put minus 2 outside and then b exponential minus 2x in bracket so in place of b exponential minus 2x we're going to replace it with a new value okay so let's substitute we're going to have the squared y all over dx squared plus 2 dy dx is equal to minus 2 in bracket now we have dy dx plus 2y. You know, this dy dx plus 2y is the value in equation 5 that we say dy dx plus 2y is equal to b 
exponential minus 2x. So in equation 6, in the right hand side, we have minus 2 b exponential minus 2x. So we replace the value here, okay? So after replacing, we have d squared y all over dx squared plus 2 dy dx is equal to minus 2 open bracket dy dx plus 2y. So in the right hand side, let's use this 2 to open the bracket. So when we open the bracket, we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared plus 2 dy dx equal to minus 2 dy dx minus 4y. So that is when you say minus 2 times dy dx, going to give you minus 2 dy dx. And when you say minus 2 times 2y in the bracket, it's going to give you minus 4y. Let's take all the times in the right hand side to the left hand side. Okay. So when we do so, we are going to have d squared y all over dx squared plus 2 dy dx plus 2 dy dx plus 4y okay so let's rearrange this that means we're going to combine the 2 dy dx plus 2 dy dx it's going to give us 4 dy dx okay so when we combine this we're going to have the squared y all over dx squared plus 4 dy dx plus 4y equal to 0 all right yes please i want you to watch this gradually all right write it and solve it by yourself let's see your level of understanding okay good thank you very much for watching please like share our video subscribe if you have not and stay blessed